GoPro recently announced the GoPro Volta and I just got my hands on one. So today we are gonna talk about what the Volta is, who it's for, and should you buy one? Or maybe there's something else out there that you should buy instead of the Volta. There's pros and cons of this thing. So stick around to the end to hear more about that. First up though, what is the GoPro Volta battery grip? It's a grip with the battery in it. In here, we now have a 4,900 milliamp battery. So the normal GoPro battery is 1,720 milliamps. So 4,900, hang on, 4,900 divided by 1,720 equals 2.8 so in the GoPro Volta, there is 2.85 GoPro batteries plus the GoPro battery you have in here. So just walking around with this unit like this, you have almost four GoPro batteries full of power. That's plenty for a full day out adventuring. If you're using more than four GoPro batteries in a day of filming, you are filming a lot. And you'll see on here, the Volta itself has a USB cable, and then they give you a pass-through door right here. This comes with the Volta. So now I can plug it in like that, and it actually creates a, a weather-resistant seal. So you can be in the rain with this thing, you can be in the snow with this thing. You don't have to worry about water getting in there but it's not waterproof anymore. So now it's only weather resistant, but solidly weather resistant. I sprayed it down with a hose and it was totally fine. So a battery grip, but it has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Let's check out what else the Volta does. And first up right there is remote controlled functionality on the grip. So I got a record button. I have a power slash mode button. I have a Bluetooth button right there and a button right here that I can press to check my battery status of the Volta. Now, notably, this remote is actually a Bluetooth remote. So it's not using this cord that's plugged into the GoPro to control the GoPro. So it is wirelessly controlling the GoPro. So while it may seem silly to have controls for the GoPro right here, when you also could just reach up and push them right here, because it's a Bluetooth remote, you could unplug the GoPro, take the GoPro off, mount it on the outside of your car, something like that, and you can use the Volta wirelessly to control your GoPro, just like a wire wireless GoPro remote. But then when you do have it mounted just like this on the Volta, I mean, it, it kind of makes it more of a one-handed grip, I guess, like you're holding it like this, you just kind of reach up with your thumb and press the buttons instead of kind of doing one of these and then and then re-gripping. Not that big of a deal though. Next up on the Volta, we have two legs that fold out from the grip to create kind of a, a tripod bit. And that combined with the fact that the head can, can swivel in 90 degree increments all the way around. You put those together and you are able to pop the legs out, put it down like that, turn it to the right angle. And now, now you got like a little, uh, like a little tripod setup built into the grip. Now, noticeably there's something missing from this tripod setup that we've talked about before, but we will get to that when we get to the cons of the Volta later in this video. But lastly, to cover the, the features of the Volta, there are two additional mounting points on this battery grip. So right, right here, see this little button right here? Watch this, push the button and boom, spring-loaded GoPro feet pop out of the side right there. So you might have something like, like one of GoPro's backpacks and you could actually kind of just mount it there. That's how I saw like in their advertising, but you could also just take a GoPro little feet bit like that. And once you have that set up on there, you could mount this to, to any GoPro mount. So you can mount this on a GoPro mount, have your GoPro able to record for up to four GoPro batteries worth of time and and never have to stop to change your battery. That's a neat feature, but more than anything, I just like that those feet are spring-loaded. That's so fun. It's like, shikink. <laughs> And then lastly, there is a quarter 20 on the bottom of the Volta. And that actually that actually might be better than spring-loaded feet because you could take something like an Arca Swiss plate. I can screw it onto the bottom of this bit. And boom, now I have my GoPro with Arca Swiss plate on the bottom and that could go on top of any tripod. So someone that's out shooting a lot of time lapses, maybe you're shooting like cool cityscape time lapses or something like that. I don't do that a lot, but people that do, you, uh, you can mount the GoPro with your Volta on a tripod. And again, you have four GoPro batteries worth of power without having to change batteries. People that film really long clips, they're really gonna like this Volta. Okay, that is what it is, but but who is this for? And and what are the cons of this thing? Like, like should you buy the GoPro Volta? Before we get to that though, a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, 
Cuts clothing. You guys heard me talk about Cuts clothing a lot, mainly because of the super comfortable shirts, hoodies, joggers. What else do I have of theirs? Oh, they make polo golf shirts? And they all look just, they all just look nice. Like Cuts is the first time that I've been able to go out on a dinner date or something like that with my wife, just throw on a t-shirt and jeans and her be like, yeah, you look really nice, dear. Even the other day, it was my daughter's third birthday party and obviously I wanted to be comfortable. I knew I'd be running around the party a lot, but I, you know, wanted to look nice also. So I went in my closet, I grabbed one of their Henley shirts with the three buttons. Buttons make you look fancy somehow. And boom, one of their Henleys and, and I look fancy enough for my daughter's party and my, my wife thinks I look great and I'm comfortable because I'm just wearing a t-shirt. If you guys want to be super comfortable but look really good, first thing in the description, cuts clothing. I, I can't recommend them enough. Okay, back to the GoPro Volta. And before I get to who this is for, let's touch on a few of the cons first. And the very first con that's just blaringly obvious to me is that this is not extendable in any way. Now, it does weigh a little bit. It's not super heavy, but it's decently heavy. And now to hold the GoPro at, at kind of eye level, that, that vlogging shot or that shot as I walk around and I film, I kind of need to hold the, the GoPro kind of straight out. And I have to say, holding your arm straight out for a long period of time it's not super comfortable. So while filming like this and, and getting cool shots really isn't much of a problem with this thing, it's actually almost better because it is so small and compact. When I do walk around and want to do kind of more of a vlog mode with me and my wife, me and my daughters, I'm walking around with my arm very much at eye level. Now compare that to something like the GoPro 3-way 2.0 mount. And if I just kind of get it in the right orientation, a little bit of a, a arch in it, to do the same thing, I can keep my elbow, I can be way down here and get the GoPro way up there. Versus with this one, to get him to get him at the same level, I've I've gotta really be straight armed. So this is probably something that, that I wouldn't want to walk around all day long with and, and film like this. And this I could totally walk around all day long with this thing. In fact, I have. <laughs> and the second con that, that we'll also talk about the three-way mount is there's no ball head on top of here. This is something that I complained about with the original three-way mount is that the original three-way mount did not have a ball head on top. Now, GoPro fixed that with the GoPro three-way 2.0 this guy. Because if you're out in a situation and, and you don't have a perfectly level surface to put your GoPro on, like we were hiking in Hawaii one time and I was trying to get my shot level, I just, I couldn't do it. There was, it was impossible to get a level shot with the rocks that we were dealing with and boom, my GoPro was sideways like this, which means your GoPro is, is crooked. But with the three-way mount now, we have a little latch. You pull the latch, you can use that ball head to straighten out your shot, even though I'm on an uneven surface. Boom, straight level shot, lock that back in, and it's gonna look good. But on the Volta, even though they gave us that, you know, you have a bendy head, so you can kind of go up and down. If you're on an unlevel surface, if the surface is crooked, it means your shot is crooked. And the only way to really fix that is, is again, with a ball head to, uh, you know, just be able to fine tune that shot. So while a tripod on there is nice, a tripod with a ball head is better. And then my last con for this thing is, is honestly just me being super picky, but there's no ability to cycle through your presets from the Bluetooth remote. Remember that one video I made you guys about being able to cycle through the presets by using a, a two button press? If you don't remember that video, click up there and go watch that video, very helpful. But the two button press on the Bluetooth remote, it does not do that whole preset cycling issue. So if I'm trying to get to different presets, I still have to go to the back of the camera and, and cycle through my presets back here. I'm just saying, GoPro, you could add a little quick selector on here, and then I would be able to cycle through those presets each mode I'm in and that would be super dope. All right, let's end with who is this for? Who should buy the GoPro Volta? The Volta is for someone that wants all day battery life without having to swap batteries. Someone that is looking for a really compact form factor. Like this thing is shockingly small. They actually sent over a, a little sling bag to put it in and you, you could fit like three or four of them in this sling bag. Form factor wise, 
this is ideal because again, it's just so small. And then it's also for somebody that when they get back to their hotel room, instead of having to charge up multiple batteries, they just want to use the one USB-C port on the Volta. You plug that into the wall and you are now charging up the Volta and the battery that's inside your GoPro. That's pretty simple. So simple, compact, all day power from the GoPro Volta. It is pretty sweet. So should you buy the GoPro Volta? Maybe, if, if that person is you, you are looking for that all day power in something that's just as simple as plugging one USB-C cord in, something that's nice and compact. Yeah, I think you should. I wouldn't though, because even staying just within the GoPro world of accessories, maybe you're a GoPro subscriber, you get that sweet discount. I would go with the GoPro Hero 10 on the GoPro 3-Way 2.0, get the same tripod feature out of that thing. I would get the, the extension ability. I would get the ball head on here, and then I would need to purchase three extra batteries to uh, complete my kit. And if you're a GoPro subscriber, the Volta is gonna run you about $91 for the Volta battery grip. And over here, to get the three-way and to pick up three extra batteries, again, if you're a GoPro subscriber, you're looking at $96. So similar functionality between these two systems, except over here, you get the extendable selfie stick and you get a ball head to be able to straighten out those shots. Again though, as a, as a system, the Volta, it is very cool. It does make things much simpler, but for me and how I shoot, how I use my camera much more as an action camera and even as a vlog camera, to be able to have it on that extended selfie stick like this is, is much more comfortable than having to hold it like this. Now what I would love to see them make, and it would just be amazing and incredible, would be a, a Volta XL. Make me a Volta XL and put that same 4,900 milliamp battery inside this bad boy. I don't think I even need the Bluetooth remote, although it would, I guess, be kind of nice for one-handed operation. And then, you know, the cable would come out the top bit here and plug into my GoPro, and then it would just fold back down still. Yeah, that would be dope. What do you guys think though? I wanna hear your comments down below. What do you guys think of the GoPro Volta? Is this something that you would buy having a battery in the grip like this? Being able to charge just off of one single port charges essentially four GoPro batteries. Being able to shoot all day long. It is weather resistant. You've got a, a Bluetooth control on there. You got those spring loaded feet. You got the quarter 20 on the bottom. It is very clever. Would you buy this? Or or do you think that the three-way 2.0 is still so much better and so much more useful because of the extendable tripod and that, that ball head on top? Do you, uh, does changing batteries during the day bother you that much? Let me know in the comments down below and I will, I will see you guys very soon. See ya. I didn't touch on the weight of these things, but I feel like the three-way and this thing, like these feel almost identical in weight. So maybe this would be too heavy if you added the battery into this, but it would still be really cool.